Definitely, I have difficulties like uh, like just recently the lock of my room was not working, so I stayed outside for like two hours or one hours outside my building, and I have I do I did not also have the helpline number, so I started looking around my building like if there is so there was a board luckily and there was the helpline number, but it was already late like ten thirty to eleven. PM in the night and it was like zero degrees Celsius in my area, so it was kind of cold. And then I have to call them. Like after two to three calls, they pick up my call. And there was uh, Japanese people; they were they had the fluency. I could not catch with them, but I tried to uh, speak in my Choto, Bokarimas kind of that thing. <laughs> you know, whatever I could understand, I just tried to uh, speak to them and whatever they. But soon they also provided me the English interpreter, so it was become easier for me. So I told them. So also they demanded all the proofs like this is your apartment, the name, the company, like how much time I'm living in. But you know, like I was already having a trouble in the cold and I was staying outside. So I was kind of exhausted at that time. But I have to deal like because I have to get inside my apartment no matter what. But I cannot even broke my lock myself because it's not India, it's Japan. So the system is kind of like that. You know, cannot、uh, cannot even break that. Like the with the key you can easily do that. Like break the lock, but it's not like that. So. Like after they said, okay, in one hour I will,、uh, we will provide you the mechanic for that. He will come in one hour. So I just requested, please provide as soon as you can because I it's kind of cold here. I have to、uh, stand outside my home. So luckily in one hour, fixed one hour he came and then that guy was also Japanese, but yeah, he was really polite and he just、uh, did that、uh, unlocking thing in five minutes. So. Then I got some relief, but、uh, that was the night I will remember in my night. Yeah, that was some kind of experience I had in Japan. They are professionally really good, but sometimes it's like when you are in trouble.、Uh, I mean, you have to make balance with the foreigners. Also, you have to think like what problem they are in. But it's okay. Like I kind of feel like yes, that things the trouble can come suddenly in Japan. If I'm new here as a foreigner, I have to take care of things. So I have to be ready for that.